Hello, and welcome to a nice and simple building tutorial, where I'll just be walking through just how you can build just nice little simple roads and intersections with a couple of the pieces that I have uploaded in my profile on Roblox. So, I have only done one, um, as of currently, because my internet is so bad that I'm not able to upload anything whenever I open up Roblox Studio. Everything stops working within the first two seconds, which is really bad. So I only have one piece right now, which for this little tutorial is really all that you need. So you, you can go to my profile, I'll, I'll link the uh, profile down in the description, and you can just download, download this piece, and, and you can just follow along with me. So, that's what we're going to be accomplishing uh, today, and th this will just be just nice little simple road four-way intersection, or, and we'll also do a, a little three-way intersection, just to spice things up just a little bit. So, after you get your piece, one thing you're going to notice is that up here, the lines are shorter th than, the, uh, than the road. That's an easy fix. You just need to select the piece, drop down arrow, and then scale both of the pieces. To where it lines up with the edge so that it can be easier to scale and connect all the pieces and make sure that the road is anchored just so that you know whenever you render it in it doesn't fall over the place so after you get your piece we're just going to do just one simple thing we're just going to duplicate it so you're going to push ctrl d and going to rotate the piece 90 degrees so that you can have one lane you know going the other way and then just drag the road out to where you think it is best. You don't have to follow everything that I do, but I think this is an ideal spacing for uh, roads. And by the way, I have my, my move set to 0 0.2 studs uh, because, I, because I like having minimal adjustments while also being highly accurate. So I think 0 0.2 studs for movement is really good. And real quick, I'm going to go ahead and flatten this up a little bit. Not draw, I want to paint. Leafy grass, yeah. Beautiful. Just paint all of this. Get all nice and flat so that we can see what we're doing and that we're not bothered by the grass that surrounds us awesome okay so now we got our piece what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate one of the pieces just move it out of the way then we'll take this set of roads and group it as a model and then rename the model two lane road just for simplicity sake we just want to keep things nice and simple as we're working along with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this piece back a little bit. And then I'm going to duplicate this model and just drag out another piece right here. So this is where we're going to start the four-way intersection. So uh, one thing that I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go into here and select the road part duplicate that part and then drag this out. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want the main intersection part to be the same height as the road. And I fear that if you put in a new part, it won't be the same height. Now, you are able to do this and make you know the minor adjustments that you need, but there's a, there's a chance where it won't be level. So I like to do that. Just duplicate the part, then, then to just drag it out. And I'll just rename this, you know, concrete slab, because it because that's that's really what it is. It's just a concrete slab for an intersection. So drag this as big and small, however you want. But for this video, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select the piece and duplicate it, and then rotate this piece, and then drag it to about the corner of this original piece right here and I believe that is a good spot yes I think that's good 
There is like a little bit of deviation, but I think it's okay. I think it's definitely okay. So I'm going to scale this back. And then I'm going to take this piece, just slide it on up over here to just about there. It's close enough. There we go. And then I'm going to take this piece and just drag it on over here. Here we have just a nice little simple four way intersection two lanes, one lane going in, one lane going out each way, and cars can go left, straight, or right. And what I like to do is that if you have the plugin from 22 Pilots, the pretty much almost world famous traffic light creator plugin or the road accessories plugin, you can just use this and just create just a little simple intersection. So what I do is that I like to just, you know, just keep it as simple as possible. And by the way, these road lengths, they are based off of the original uh, 22 Pilots road creation plugin, but that plugin is so broken that it just doesn't even work. So I, I just made these roads from scratch, super simple. And this, and this is what I've been doing just for my mini projects. So after you create your intersection, just make your, make the basts and just set them to, you know, what, whatever length you want to use and I always like to try and position the masts at, in almost or just about a 45 degree angle from the center of the intersection just just because it, it looks nice it, it looks nice it, if you just put it about 45 degrees from the center and I pushed Z about five times just to you know shrink the pole up because you don't need a massive pole to do the job for what you're trying to accomplish for this intersection. So, I mean, this is just a nice little simple intersection. I think I think we can just you know just just go with a random light. Really, I'll just do just a single one. I did not mean to do that one. I'll delete this one. Make sure you change your directions instead of placing willy-nilly. Direction three. Gonna put this here. And direction four. Gonna place this down. Now what I like to do is that whenever I put down a new uh, new red light intersection, I always like to put it on auto cycle. So that whenever I run it, I'm just able to see if it's working the way that I want it to work. So we're in. We're loaded. I say that, I mean, this is just super simple, but this is pretty nice. Something simple, not too complicated. I think it works pretty well. Now, I just want to wait and see if the light will actually change or not. And sometimes it doesn't work immediately. Oh, there we go. So what I do is that I turn off and then return on um, the auto cycle just so that it can work. Oh, interesting. So right now it's it's the uh, it's set to left turn, um, even though there are no left turns. But that's okay. We know we know it works. But as for all of you that may not be aware, whenever you do the intersections, I like to just do the sensors just so that. Whenever a car reaches the intersection, the light can just change immediately. But we're not going to worry about that right now. So here's our nice little simple four-way intersection. Again, nothing too complicated. Something that's super simple. So using the same knowledge that we have, let's go ahead and build a, a little three-way intersection. So I'm going to take this piece. I'm just going to duplicate it. And you can take any of these pieces. Drag it to, you know, wherever you want to go. And I'll just put it about right here and then I'll just duplicate this out and just you know just put it right here about right there uh, I want I want it to connect I want it to touch yeah the sizing and everything is not right but it, it's it's okay we're actually off-center here 
That's so random. There we go. That's better. So now we got our little piece. I'm going to scale this back just a little bit. There we go. Whoa. I'm just going to put this right here. And then we'll take this piece, duplicate it, drag it to just about right there, and then rotate. Whoa. Wrong one. Let me do this. There we go. Make it nice and easy. There we go. And voila, we have our nice little three-way intersection. I'm just making a nice little change. Yes, perfect. Now I'll tidy this up just a little bit. I want, I want bigger area, yes. I want my bigger area. Nice and big, I want the leafy grass. Because I can see what I'm doing and you can still see the grass. There we go, little three-way intersection. And let me just go ahead and just make a nice little three-directional traffic lights. Let's see, make this direction one, direction two, and direction three. So we're going to get our poles out. I'm going to place this down. I think that's good. And then, let's see, I'm going to add another pole. I'm going to leave it about this length and we will get to that shortly so i'm just gonna go ahead and just place this down so direction one got the lights and direction two we're gonna have just another standard light and direction three i will do um let's see I think I'll just do just another simple light. There we go, last little three-way intersection. So you're building along, and what if you want to add a lane extension or to have another lane for turning? Well, this is a pretty easy thing to do. So if you want to add another lane, again, that's like parallel to one lane of travel, you can just, just take this road. I'm going to drag this out over here so I can have more working room. And then what you can do is that you can take one of the road segments, duplicate it, and then extend it out to where the yellow line pretty much lines up with the white line. And then you just delete the yellow line that's on top and then boom you have yourself an extra an extra turn lane. So this will be three lane road. And I'm just going to drag this back to about right here. And then, you know, we, we got ourselves a little bit of a problem, but that's nothing to worry about because you can just always delete it and then rebuild it. And I think what I'll do is that I'll spice this up a little bit and we can get pretty creative with our intersections. I'm getting very creative with the intersections here. So I'm gonna duplicate this piece, rotate it, and I'm gonna drag it to about over here. Now I'll delete this piece because we got many. Okay, I'm going to scale this. All right, and also delete this piece. We will make this all work out. Duplicate it, I'm gonna drag it up over here. There we go. Perfect, let me just get this out of the way. Okay, so now, we came up with a like a little interesting three-way intersection and y'all may be wondering well how is this going to work well i'll show you how it works so you're going to create a new traffic light again three directional the arrow where it's pointing is where the traffic lights will be facing whenever you place them down just for a quick reference so i'll place a mast here 
Books ended out five-ish clicks. And I'll do this one right here. I'm gonna rotate it about five-ish clicks. That may be a little too much, but we'll make it work. We will definitely make it work. And then, I have one more pole of the mast to, yeah, I think that can work. Okay. So now we got our intersection. I'm going to go ahead and just place down one light just so I can just see where the direction of travel's gone, which is right here. Okay. So I'll place a light right here. And for kicks and giggles, I will add a right turn signal because uh, I'll add this one. I'm going to add a right turn signal, even though it may not seem necessary. I'm going to add it for kicks and giggles because whenever the direction three is on the left turn, you, you can turn right coming from that direction. So I think that's like a nice safety feature, I guess, just to help with people trying to figure out, you know, what they need to do. Place one light down, so this is the straight. And then um, I'm gonna add a doghouse left turn traffic light for the cars that will be turning left. Okay. Now I'm gonna come back over here and uh, I'm gonna add a left turn, three section left turn. Okay, and now I'm also going to add a, let's see, here it is. I'm going to add the four section protected left, but it's also going to be a protected right, which I will show that in just a minute. So how this works is that cars will have, they'll have two options or many options really. So this intersection, they can go straight or on this, if they're in this lane, they can go straight under the doghouse or turn left. The reason why they're able to go straight is because they can they need to mainly turn left on this major road so that's why this is like a left and a straight and that's why the dog the dog house is here because generally there won't be a single left turn light like whenever the left turn is activated in this direction the straight will also be active so the dog house is a nice little feature for cars that want to go straight or turn left and then cars that are going this way, they can go straight and go right or left and right. So in this case, this is a double left turn lane for cars that want to turn left onto this road or go straight and right on these other back roads that are over here. Or you can just turn right over here. So that's why that this is going to be a left and a right turn. So I'm, I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to select... I'm just going to edit this. I'm going to turn on auto cycle. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the signal and I'm going to change this, this green light right here, the third light from the bottom or from the top. And I'm going to change it to an arrow icon. So I'm going to take the 4TL lights, the green two. I want to copy the on and off image codes, which you can find by selecting on the image. You go down to image and image ID, you can just copy that. This is the off. And whenever you go down to the green, you can go to the off image and you know find the image. Did it work? Ah, there we go. Okay, so it did work. I, I click copy and paste and it just didn't work out. Okay, so now you want to go to the on image as well because whenever the traffic light is on, if you don't mess with it, it's gonna have the green arrow for off and it's gonna have the circle as on and, and you don't want that. And v, okay. So now I'm going to go into the green, which is right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the entire thing 180 degrees. I'm going to rotate the tunnel or the, the little visor back 180. So that that way, when the light turns on, you got your, your right and your left, which we're gonna go ahead and run it. 
and just see where and where it goes and what it looks like. Okay, so yep, that's what we want, which is good because it's a straight and a right. And then just a minute, the lights will change. So we got our red. Boom. Yes, that's what we want. That's exactly what we want. So then we got our right and our left, which is perfect. And then look, the right turn the arrow is on and now it's going back to red. And then there you go, you're protected left. So this, this will never happen at this intersection. This will never happen because cars that want to turn left will, you know, obviously go left, but cars that want to go straight, they can't go straight because because of the uh, because it's you know it's not on green. So now we're, we're gonna come back over here, take a look. As you can see, this intersection is a little bit off because we got an extra lane. So here's what I'll do. I'm gonna send this out. And we're gonna have just a one left turn, one straight, and one right. And I think this is an appropriate setup. So how this will work is that cars that want to turn left, you know, they have their own left turn lane. Cars that want to go right, they can just turn right right here. And cars that go straight, they can cut across and diverge a little bit to get onto this lane. And then this lane, you know, it's straight on. They can just stick with it. And then, you know, cars that are going here, they're fine. Okay, so we're going to create a brand new intersection. We're going to go four-way. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll do the perpendicular or the orthogonal roads as the main roads, and then we'll have this, and then we'll have this road right here as the uh, side roads. Okay, so I'm gonna place this down first. What do we got going on here? So I'm just gonna actually I'll place this. I'll place it right here. We'll do that. Nice and short, still works. Add a pole. I'm gonna shrink this down to, I think about there. Add another pole. I think that's good. And then we'll add one more pole. There we go. I think one more thing that I may do, just to just to make things a little bit more spicy, is that I'm going to go into this three-lane road. I'm going to grab this part, duplicate it, drag it. There we go. Then I gotta find the part, delete it. There we go. Now we have our four lane, an, a four lane road, which I need to rename. I'm gonna rename four lane road. There we go. Now we got now we got something a little bit more spicy going on, just to make this a little bit more interesting. Now you don't have to get all creative with your intersections. You can just go with something simple. This is just a nice little tutorial. On, on just how creative and how unique you can make your intersections. So you can make this as simple or as interesting as, as you want. So I'm actually gonna rebuild this intersection. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to, I need to unselect the intersection because I don't want all the blue lines being everywhere. I'm gonna add a pole. I'm gonna add one pole, I'll do it about out right there so the reason why I added this lane is that it can be unique to this traffic light that's right here because because it's a right turn so now we have our intersection in place so main road one lane I think we could just go for something simple you know just a straight line like this just a standard three colored light same thing with direction two. There we go. And I think one thing 
that I will do is that I will add a right turn signal to here, but I'm gonna do it just a little bit differently. I'm gonna do this just a little bit differently. No, I wanna edit the placement. I'm gonna put a, a right turn doghouse here, and I'm gonna put down another right turn doghouse right there. And the reason why, I'll explain in just a minute. So I apologize for getting all complicated with you. This this is like kind of how I see it, how this intersection could work. And plus it's like, it's all really close together. So this may become necessary. And you, you don't have to do all the right turn lights and everything. I'm just doing this j just for show. So now I'm gonna add just a strict left turn light here. And I'm going to add a straight, just a nice little simple three ball light because we don't need to go that uh, extravagant going this direction. Oh, what happens? Let's down the wrong wrong side, direction four. I need to add, I'll do a light right here and I'll just add one more right there. There we go. I, I think that's good enough. So, I'm not going to be doing this, but just for reference, the reason why that there's two right turn dog houses here is because there's two lanes right here. And for cars that, you know, want to turn right, they may want to, you know, make a U turn or they may want to turn right and go straight. And this is, you know, coming up onto, you know, from one lane going to two. So, generally, you would add a three lane segment right here. You know push this intersection back to the left so that you can add the extra turn lane and it's just a it's just there for safety so we got our intersection now i'm just going to go ahead and enable it and then re-enable auto cycle i'm going to run it i just want to see where this will go so it's running and we got our main road set up. So perfect, that's exactly what we want. So the main road turns into a main road, which is nice for traffic flow. That's that's really nice. Okay. So now it's running, the auto cycle is set, so we'll, we'll just give it a minute. There we go. So lights are changing to red, and now we have the left turn, which is good we want the left turn. So now the left turn is active. It's running, it's running, it's running. And off, which is good. And now we got our green, which is also very good. So the green goes, green goes, cars go across, they enter each lane, doesn't matter. And that's also really nice because this is active and then that's also straight. What you can do is then is to combine all these lights in just one big intersection to get it how you want it to go. Just super, super nice, super nice feature. That you can combine so many lights into one intersection, or you can combine it into uh, multiple intersections just to make it all talk to each other. Just super nice. So now. We're now in the left turn cycle main direction. There we go. We're back. Nice and simple. This can obviously be fixed, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I've been going on for too long. So that is just a super brief, quick tutorial on how you can just do simple intersections. You can go as small as you want to so just have two lanes going in and out, or you can get as crazy as you want it's maybe even crazier than this you don't have to create super complicated intersections just create intersections that you think will be necessary for traffic and obviously as you are building your cities your intersections are going to change all the time to be appropriate for the, the traffic flow in your city now with players going around everywhere that is obviously going to be hard to accomplish but you don't have to go big. You just go as small as you want, and it works perfectly. So that's your nice little quick tutorial or guide or whatever you want to call it 
on just building simple intersections. And if y'all did enjoy what you have watched, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I am planning on doing more of these builds in the near future. So make sure you hit the bell so that you are aware of these videos whenever they come out. Other than that, I'll see all, all of y'all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.